This section provides three typical conversion examples. The procedure will use an Apex Plus conversion as the example, but the procedure for other systems like Infi90 from Bailey is the same. In the first use case, the existing Apex Plus system operator station is to be replaced with a new PCS7 operator station in a client server architecture. The PCS7 Apex Plus OS server is connected with the system bus, the M bus, and therefore has access to the subsidiary Apex Plus controllers. Via the OS Ethernet network, the PCS7 OS clients are connected to the engineering system. All the engineering is done on the engineering system, and from here the application software is downloaded to the server and the client. In the second use case, we would like to show how the existing plant can be extended by a new measuring point using the remaining legacy engineering console formation. This change will be detected in the engineering system and the changes are downloaded into the PCS7 Apex Plus OS server and the PCS7 OS client online. In the third use case, the existing plant will be extended by a subplant based on Sematic PCS7. In addition to the present server, an additional PCS7 OS server will be added and connected to the OS network as well. Based on that connection, the operator, sitting on the PCS7 OS client, has a common and consistent monitoring and operating for both parts of the plant. Welcome to the practical part of the multimedia presentation Migration Strategy of Somatic PCS7. Here we would like to present three different migration use cases. The first migration use case shows how an existing HMI is replaced by a modern PCS7 operator station. You will see how the migration products work and how easy they are to work with. You will also see how the migration products not only save a tremendous amount of time and effort, but also how they exclude accidental errors right from the beginning. In the second use case, a process tag is added to an existing plant. This is inserted online in the operator station during operation without affecting process control. In the third and last use case, a plant is expanded by a new section using PCS7. The operator should be able to control and monitor the new section of plant alongside the previous or legacy system. We will present these use cases using the example of migrating Siemens's DCS APAX Plus to PCS7. The procedure for other DCS systems is similar. Please select the use case that interests you the most, or simply watch all three use cases.